Raja and Jessica Paul Raj see beauty in baby Adam that many others can't. This is little Adam getting his feeding. We like watching his hands and what he decides to do with his hands. Hey, buddy. Adam's story begins with his birth at a Christian missionary hospital in India. The baby boy came into the world with no eyelids, no nose, no hands legs fused together, and other deformities. But his brain, heart, and lungs were just fine. Still, his family decided to either abandon or kill him. The uncle came and he said, like, we don't want to take the baby home. And then the mother-in-law was like, we don't want to take the baby. And it's a kind of like a shame for us to take him back. There is a sense of the relatives, they don't want to take the baby to home because I got a call from this village and uh, where actually the baby's, baby belongs to. And they're telling that uh, if they bring the baby back home, we may poison him. During this time, Raj, the hospital administrator, and Jessica, a nurse, fell in love with Adam and decided to adopt him. When Adam came along, it was just so unexpected for me, but there was this sense from the very beginning that the Lord was just like, like this is like the child I have like called for you to care for. Jessica knew that care meant getting Adam the medical attention he needed. She sent me a personal email that first week and just said, Brooke, I don't know if you would know anyone um, in the United States that could give us some advice about where to go or what to do. And so I sent that email on to Dr. Van Alst, who's a craniofacial surgeon at UNC where I work. That he said that he wanted to provide total care for Adam and he thought that, that we would be able to bring him here to UNC to do that. Right away, a team of doctors at the University of North Carolina's Children's Hospital mobilized to develop a plan for baby Adam's care. If Adam had stayed in the northeast of India, he, he would not be alive today. There's no question about that. Adam would need several surgeries, some right away, others down the road. Even though the doctors are donating their time, baby Adam's hospital bill is still very high. But when people heard his story, they came to his rescue. David Anderson organized a fundraiser that collected an astounding $100,000 in just the first week. We quickly established an online giving page. And normally that, that would take several days and we were told that really was urgent, that really had to happen right away because the surgery was so urgent. And so we got it up in a matter of hours. Those first surgeries targeted Adam's immediate needs so he could close his eyes and his mouth for the very first time. It was probably the most challenging cleft lip that I've ever done. At some point he's gonna need nasal reconstruction and that's gonna be a huge challenge. And so one aspect of caring for him has been a lot of prayer. I've prayed, my family has prayed, uh, Jessica and Raja have prayed. Adam will eventually have the use of prosthetic hands and legs. Is he going to be perfect? Yes, he's already perfect. Is he going to be normal by the world's standards? Never. But normal or not, baby Adam has already brought a community together. Nurses, cleaning people, doctors, other families. In fact, a family today that came to visit me for a very different reason, I'm taking care of their daughter, they said, how is Adam doing? Meanwhile, Raj and Jessica delight in the everyday joys of parenthood. <laughs> Lori Johnson, CBN News.